Let's look at how we create a change request. Click on New Change from the Functions menu once in the Change console. If you know the effect of service, select it. This will auto-populate the product categories in the Categorizations tab. If you do not know it, we'll come back to that later. There are three buttons at the end of Service. Use them to view the CI information. It displays the detailed information about the selected technical or business service. View the topology. This is the graphical version of the related CIs and services. And Service Context shows related incidents and recent changes on the CI. Complete all the mandatory fields. Those are the ones in bold. Click the button at the end of the risk level field. This displays 10 risk questions. The risk level will be set on saving. How the questions have been answered are found in the risk report on the functions menu. Create any work detail you require. and Click on the categorizations tab and complete the operational categorizations. Click the Tasks tab to create a task. Every change request requires at least one task. Select a type of task to create. Save time by using templates. A task template is a reoccurring task that will pre-populate fields in a task. A task group template is a group of task templates, which also will pre-populate fields in the task. Create a task from scratch by using ad hoc, and then click Relate. Fill in the mandatory name and summary fields. To assign a group to the task, click the Assignment Dates tab. Use the drop-down boxes to select Assignee Organisation and Assignee Group. To assign a group to the task, click the Assignment Dates tab. Use the drop-down boxes to select Assignee Organisation and Assignee Group. It is very important that you only select action groups at the Assignee Organisational level. Add the scheduled start and end date, then save. To navigate back to the change request, use the breadcrumb bar. To add the affected system, click the Relationships tab. If this step is not completed, your change request will be rejected. Scroll to the bottom of the page, click on the drop-down box and select Configuration Item. Type in the affected system and click Search. percentage is the wildcard. The search results are then displayed. Highlight the correct configuration item and click Relate. Close the pop-up box and the configuration is shown on the Relationships table. Conduct an impact analysis by using click the Impact Analysis button. Notice that all CIs are showing unavailable and remedy. This is just a default setting. A true representation of availability will improve as future models of Remedy are implemented. Select Relate All Services and Execute. Click Save and the CIs are now displayed in the Relationship tab. Go back to the Service tab and add any affected services to the Service field. Click on the More Info tab to add the Change Planning Database number if relevant. Click on the Date System tab to complete a few more steps before you're done. It is easy to set the change request dates using the Task Start and End Dates. Click the View Task Date button and in the pop-up box select the task with the earliest start date. Click Close. Click the green icon to auto-populate the change request start date. Click the View Task Date button again and in the pop-up box select the task with the latest end date and click Close. Click the red icon to auto-populate the change request end date. Click Save and Next Stage twice. This moves the change request into business approval phase with a status of request for change. Approvers have now been notified to review and approve the change.